Okay, it's Jason here again with another video for EEM 171 codes and installations. And here we're going to look at some of the other devices for some of the other projects we'll be doing. And this one we're going to talk about our single pole switch and light lab here. Okay, so just want to talk about the parts of these devices so you'll know what connects to what. So this is your single pole switch, okay, and it's used to control a light or a group of lights from one location, okay. So if you need to control a light from multiple locations, you'll have to use a different type of switch. We'll talk about that in another video. So on this one, you just have your switch here, and you'll notice on here that that is labeled, okay. Get it where you can see it here. All right, there you see the off and on. Okay, so the single pole switch is the only type of switch that's actually labeled off or on because it's a simple make or break connection. So the screws you have here, you have two brass screws, and if you've seen the other video, you'll know that the brass colored screw is for hot wires. So your one wire coming in from your power source will go to one screw and your other black wire going out to your light will connect to this screw. Okay, So it doesn't matter which one you connect to. You can have power coming in up here and power going out down here. It doesn't matter because it's just a simple make or break switch. Okay. On the other side, you just have the ground screw, okay, so you'll twist the ground wires together and um, attach it to that screw, and again, there'll be a, a video to show you how to do that. No neutral connections, okay, no silver screws to attach the neutral wires, okay, because a neutral wire never goes to a switch, okay, neutral is just your return path home okay to the power source so the switch is just placed in series in the circuit where you break in that hot connection here so the neutral wires in the box of this switch would actually just wire nut together okay as you've seen in one of the other videos where we actually showed you how to do that okay so in this box the two white wires would just wire nut together and then your two hots would connect to the switch. Okay. And again this would just be all 14 two wires so you would not be using this 14 three connection here. Then our light fixture pretty straightforward. Um, this is a fairly simple type of light fixture. Um, normally ones you would be putting up in a residential or even commercial applications would be a little bit more fancier than this but for lab this gets the point across okay this is just a simple light fixture um, inside here you see two connections that's where it just actually makes contact with the light bulb the one straight down is the hot and the one on the side here is the neutral connection to provide the 120 volts to make the light come on on the back here, you see we have the screw connections, and you may notice the colors again. So you're starting to see that pattern. So over here you have two brass screws, that's for your hot wire, and two silver screws for your neutral wire. Okay. So again, you want to make your hooks on that to go around the screw, making sure they're in a clockwise direction. Okay. Again, there's two of them, so if you needed to run multiple lights, you can come in on one hot here and out on the other to an additional light. Same for the neutral. You'll notice here there is no ground connection. Because this is a plastic fixture, plastic does not conduct electricity, so a ground is not needed for the actual fixture itself. So we would usually just leave that wire in the box or attach it to the box if it's a metal box. 
so that's all there is to the light fixture um, now going back to the ground typically uh, a fancier light would be metal okay and it would have a actual ground wire hanging inside here be a little green wire that you would actually wire nut to ground okay but on this one it's not required okay so that is the single pole switch with light okay one of the other labs will be a single pole switch with receptacle okay Again, connections here are going to be the same. You wire nut your hot and neutral. I mean, you no, you do not wire nut your hot and neutral. You're wire nut your two neutrals together. You will connect your two hots here. Okay. And then from this device to the receptacle, you're going to use a 14-3 wire. Okay. So you're actually doing the split receptacle circuit. So you'll use the 14-3 because you need two hot wires. Okay. And so on the receptacle, the white wire will still connect on the neutral side. Okay. The ground will still connect to the ground screw but on the hot side we will actually break this tab here to isolate the top from the bottom okay and on that one we would actually hook our one hot to the bottom and our red wire to the top and split this okay so that will give us the split receptacle okay so on here back to this box where the switch is you'll have your power coming in and your power coming out okay and on this one you'll actually have the red wire connected to that in the box with the switch the black wire you will do a pigtail connection okay and I'll show you what that is okay so you just take a piece of scrap wire I'm gonna grab some here out of the box okay that make a hook with it Attach that to your switch. Okay, and then inside your box, you'll have. 14-2 and 14-3. Let me just do a quick mock-up of that. Strip the wire here. Okay, so here's our two wires, 14-2, 14-3. So grounds will go together. Two neutrals will wire nut together. Okay. The red wire will go to the other connection here on your switch. The two black wires cut those off even. Strip about a half an inch. And our switch here. And this is really too much, about a half an inch. So I'll take this connection on the switch with the two hots in this box and 
put all three together with a wire nut. Okay, and this is called a pigtail connection. That's when you have two or more wires that need to connect to one screw. Okay, so we cannot put these two wires on this one screw. That's, you only want to have one. So we use this scrap piece of wire to make a pigtail connection. So what this does is it provides a hot to the switch coming from our 14-2 okay, into the switch and out to control the top part of the receptacle. But it also provides hot through the black wire through the 14-3 to keep the bottom part of this device hot at all times. Okay, so that's what the pigtail connection does for you. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the single pole switch as well as light and split receptacle devices. I hope this helps you out when doing those projects. That's all for now.